Hello everyone, this is Anthony. I believe that as stock market investors, it is essential to have a wide understanding of different industries and how they drive the economy. So today, let's talk about a company's name, Asia Poly Holdings Berhad, which is the only listed Malaysian manufacturer of cast alkylic sheet. The company carries a stock name Asia PLY and stock code 0105. Since its low of 3 cent in March this year, Asia Poly's share price has sharply increased by 1,866% to a high of 59 cent in August. After briefly dropping again to 38 cent, the share price has since remained above 40 cent from August until now. What is the reason for Asia Poly's sudden prominence after a steady decline in its share price in 2018? Its main product, Acrylic Sheet are widely used across various industries, ranging from food to transport, building, and medical industries. Acrylic is a material that is much lighter than glass, yet is many times stronger and transmits more light. This year, the COVID-19 pandemic has caused a boom for the demand for acrylic sheets. This is because the end products of which acrylic is required to make include face guards for PPE, as well as protective barriers that are installed in shops, restaurants, offices and hospitals to prevent virus transmissions and enable social distancing. Consumer ranging from the public sector, F&B, retail, offices, hospital and public transport have boosted sales while the main demand previously from automotive, aviation and construction industries have been declining due to the slowdown in these economic activities. In addition to that, the US-China trade war has also presented an opportunity due to the trade diversion from China to Malaysia. This is important as the US makes up one third of the world's consumption for acrylic sheets. Due to the additional 25% tariff for acrylic products exported from China, customers from the US are shifting their purchases of the acrylic sheet to Malaysia instead, and Malaysia has a lower tax on exports at 6.5%. And in third quarter result reported recently, Asia Poly registered a revenue and net profit of 30.12 million ringgit and 4.09 million ringgit respectively, compared to 20.21 million ringgit and 2.13 million ringgit net loss posted in the previous year corresponding quarter. The net profit registered in the quarter was nearly 400% higher than the one posted in second quarter. As reflected in my previous point, Asia Poly said that its third quarter performance was boosted by sharp increase in orders from its new customers in the US and Europe with export sales reportedly growing by 2,583% to 10.25 million ringgit. For comparison, Asia Poly reported that the US market only accounted for 1% of its total sales while European market accounted for 2%. For financial 2020, they expect the US and UK markets to contribute 21% and 14% to the group's sales respectively. Given that Asia Poly's production lines are currently running at full capacity, the group plans to add a new production line by June 2021. Projected to be ready by September 2021, this will effectively double Asia Poly's manufacturing capacity to 1,600 tons per month. It is important to note that Asia Poly had already begun to turn its losses into profit in second quarter despite the movement control order being enforced at the time. According to its financial quarter report, Asia Poly's factory only resumed normal operations in the month of June for the financial quarter ended 30th June 2020. Therefore, it is safe to say that while they are fully operational, its quarterly performances in the future are bound to continue showing strong growth. Furthermore, the group has several new income streams in the works. Asia Poly has ventured into the renewable energy industry through the acquisition of an 80% equity in Dolphin Biogas and Dimbahad for 2.12 million ringgit. The acquisition will provide Asia Poly a recurring net profit of 2 million ringgit per annum starting from fourth quarter, financial year 2020. Finally, Asia Poly is also in the midst of developing shop offices in Semenye, which will eventually provide recurring rental income of 1 million ringgit per annum. The development is due to be completed by end 2021. It is also worth noting that in the first two quarters of financial year 2020, the group has garnered gross profit margins of 13% and 22% respectively, as compared to 8% in 2019. Therefore, it's in my view that the increasing profit margins combined with an unprecedented volume of incoming orders 
will spell a promising and exciting year of growth ahead for Asia Poly. Alright everyone, that's all for my sharing on Asia Poly today. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and leave a like on this video for the YouTube algorithm. See you again soon. Bye!